All right. <laughs> We're in the finals, and uh, our opponent wants to let us know that he's kind of a big deal. All right, well, we will note that. Noted. All right, let's see if this thing can uh, finish off this draft. It certainly has the tools to do so. We need a decent draw, of course, and uh, no idea what our opponent's up against here. He is in the limited resources clan, though. If you would like to join said clan, you can just message me here on Magic Online and I'll get you an invite. Wow, that's an awkward one. Any two drop we can cast, we can probably splatter thug. Dyna charge plus splat plus splatter thug is pretty good. All right, well, I better I better So this is what he said after. <laughs> I don't want to make him look like he's a jerk or something. I mean, not not that I think he is, but you know, he's like, I'm kind of a big deal now. Now he's being nice. Oh, we even drew a two. Okay. Um, better play out this mountain here in case we draw another. And we want to play a Shred Freak for some reason. Don't think we would under many circumstances, but that's okay. All right. Ship it back. We drew, we've drawn our, our big cards here, so we just need to hit lands. Land? Ugh, that's that's miserable. Uh, if we hit a land there, I think we're kind of off to the races, but now that we've missed it and we don't have a two, we're in really kind of bad shape because our opponent is way ahead on mana. He's going to cast a five. I mean, we've got an arrest to, to take down something really annoying, but man... Yeah, that's a critical land drop. We did we did have a, a fairly risky keep there. I mean, I think it was pretty decent keep, but yeah, this does happen sometimes. Oh man, a jailbreaker. Yeah. Well, hey, at least we can draw the or at least we can play this thing. So we can two for one ourselves if we want with Dyna Charge. That just seems silly though. So let's just play a Wojek Halberdiers and pass. He can't attack with his jailbreaker, though I probably want him to at this point. Um, so we're going to end up eventually setting up some type of play where we can get this thing with a Dyna charge or we just arrest it. Oh man, Pontiff of Blight. I don't think we can win now. <laughs> I mean, he's casting six drops and we're on two mana and we got eight cards in hand. I can't even cast anything this turn outside of Boros Charm. Ugh, I think we're dead. Got some. We've got some ways to do some things, but they're just nothing really good. All right, let's pass a turn. Uh, I don't want to just burn my Boros Charm for no reason, so I'm just going to discard this guy. I think because one way we could potentially win is if he completely bricks off. We hit a bunch of lands in a row to keep some type of margin of pressure on him and then we goblin rally with our whole team and dyna charge him um i mean obviously we're, we're, we're five percenters to do that but yeah we gotta try right um i'm not sure what i want to get rid of though i think i'm just going to get rid of this guy because i don't think he's ever getting in there and uh, if we draw a mountain we have plenty of plays we've got a splatter thug we've got an arrest we've got a snare squad that we're going to play all over that card, so let's just get rid of a Shred Freak here. Call of the Nightwing. But he can't attack with this, so he's going to put it on his Pontiff. And then he's going to attack us with the Pontiff. Hmm, that's like his best blocker, though. No, he's just going to do this. Okay. Well. We need a lot of things to go right, starting with drawing a land. He decided not to attack. Well, we did not draw a land, of course. Why would we do that? Instead, we drew a Fire Fist Striker, which is pretty bad here, to be honest. He's going to get in with this thing now. I was just going to arrest this if we drew a land, but no, we didn't. 
I mean, I think we should keep playing here. We're not drawing completely dead, but we are in a really bad way. You got it, man. So if we hit land, 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 we can commit a lot of power to the board and try to get him and then maybe finish him with this, but he's going to get multiple uh, extort triggers per turn now. Remember, all of these are going to have extort as well. can still shut down the engine if we hit this one, but he's going to have four dudes no matter what. Yeah, I don't see a way we can really win this one. Um, again, I don't really see a point in, in giving up here. It doesn't take any. There's, there's no. It doesn't take any effort for us to just try to kill him. All right, so we hit a plane. So that's a good start. So let's let's start things off by arresting this. So this way he doesn't get any more horror tokens. And uh, if his game plan is to keep pinging away, he doesn't. So he doesn't get free spells, and he doesn't get horror tokens. So that that seems like a good play for us. And then if we can get snare squad with fire fist striker going, we can prevent two guys from blocking and getting a couple of big hits. Hey, I mean anything's possible here. We're at thirteen. Promises. He's going if, if he starts if he starts drawing like cheapish spells, one to he can extort us for four every turn, and of course we can't race that ever. <laughs> and he's got a Zerichi Tiger with extort now. Yeah, we're gonna be dead. I, I actually don't want to show him Boros Charm or Explosive Impact or Dyna Charge now. So I am probably just going to. I'm probably just going to keep playing lands, but not really show them our key spells. Shielded Passage doesn't do much here. Um, sure, we'll play a Splatter Thug. Alright, he's got a maze glider that doesn't give anything flying. Yeah, that, ah, that stumble on mana was so brutal. Um, okay, I can concede now. Because he can just attack us and, and that would be it. Alright, so what do we want to do here? Um, I think we want to cobble brute here. Because cobble brute can get through his... Uh, his jailbreaker. I don't want to go overboard and put two of them in. I'm wondering if I want to play this though. Lobber crew can can give him some pretty nice reach. Unfortunately, it doesn't help with all of our sweet battalion, and that's kind of a, a key a key thing for us here. Hmm. Maybe I cut shielded passage. Now let's try that. Actually, you know what? I like shielded passage. Let's cut. Let's cut Racto Shred Freak. I like Shielded Passage with Cobble Brute quite a bit. And so I think I'd rather keep the passage and uh, do that. Alright, 
we will play first. And uh, this one's the same type of hand, but this time we have one, two, and three, three drops. So yeah, we're going to keep it. That's a pretty easy keep, I think. We can cast our whole entire hand if we draw one land and our hand is like really good. He's going to have to pick off a bunch of our early plays to, to get in, to make a dent here. He's mulliganing as well. Yeah, this is the kind of this is the kind of hand that if he mulligans down a bit, which he's doing, uh, it can really punish him. I mean, he, he's trying to play clue stones and stuff, and this is the type of deck that just just crushes that. Oh, he did have some big fat creatures to get in the way. Wow, and a Viachino first blade too, because why not? <laughs> and a Viachino second blade as well. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna play Fire Fist Striker here. And I'm going to attack. If he has uh, Deputy of Acquittals, then I'll just trade. I, I'm not going to not attack there. Okay, Boros Charm. That's fine. Let's attack. Still need to hit that third land, but once we do, this game's just going to be over. Even as it sits, we're in pretty good shape. We've got him at virtual eight, thanks to Boros Charm. He's If he plays a creature, it, yeah, so that just doesn't do anything here. That guy can't block. These things get bigger. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So he's at one. Um. Yeah, you know what? We can just play this anyway. It doesn't matter. If he wraths us, then we kill him. I mean, we kill him eventually, but as it sits, we just have lethal. It's like he's thinking about it, but this is kind of reverse of the other game. Although, interestingly, I've still only drawn the two lands. <laughs> but we, we got to first blade him, second blade him, maybe we even draw the third blade and just get him to. It's like he's making sure that he's dead, but he doesn't know that we have uh, a Boros Charm in hand either. If he plays another creature and we attack with everybody, we can make one of them block those, or not be able to block anyway, so he's probably just dead on board. Okay. Yeah. I mean, hopefully we had our mana this time. I, we were able to, to have a, a really devastating curve. I mean, that's, of course, why we pay so much attention to the curve. Um, and, and you can see that we've got a few spells up top. But, I mean, boom, this is a huge chunk of our playable stuff is, is right there. All right. I think we can probably kill this guy <laughs> all right that's a mulligan and another mulligan probably uh yeah i still have to mull that uh, i have to mull this one too and i have to keep this and then probably lose that sucks our deck just didn't want to cooperate i mean we, we built it in a way that it didn't really need much to go, but unfortunately, uh, it just gave us a bunch of one landers in a row. Yeah, you got it. Well, I still like this deck a lot, and I mean, we're not completely dead here, though we're in a very, very, very bad spot. All right, this is getting a little better, and that's the ideal as well. Being a mountain, we can go if we draw a land, land we can go splatter thug, cobble brute, and then have shielded passage to save our cobbled brute. And yeah, there's ways we can win this game. Of course, there always is, but usually it involves our opponent getting mana screwed at some point, and that isn't happening right now. Um, splatter thug or war mind infantry. War mind infantry can't get through this either. Can splatter thug, so we'll just splatter thug it up here. Uh, another land would be beautiful. Get that Cobble Brute down. He's going to block with Hired Torturer. We Shielded Passage it that turn. We also get to play a Warmind Infantry that turn if we draw an, uh, that land. So 
There are ways, but he's going to have to stumble. We we need to have things go well for us. Him attacking us is good, though. Anytime he attacks, this is a good thing for us. I mean, unless we're dead, but... <laughs> Massive raid for two. Nope. Can't do anything with massive raid right now. So we're going to play out a Warmind Infantry and ship the turn back. Uh, don't really see any reason to attack with Splatter Thug. He, he has pretty clear blocks, and we just open ourselves up to things like him flashing in. Oh, he's just going to get us. Uh, him flashing in uh, Hussar Patrol or using Smite. Oh. <laughs> So he used his Hired Torturer, and it reveals a card from our hand to him at random, and it revealed Shielded Passage. So he now knows that's there. Um, I don't think it matters that much. Eh, it could, though. Yeah, he did it. He did miss a land drop, so there is an opening here. If we can hit a land, stick this Cobble Brute, and if he keeps missing or doesn't have stuff he can do... We can get ourselves right back in this thing, even after a mold of four. We have a nice finisher here, too, potentially. All right, Opal Lake, but just for value. All right, Fire Fist Striker. Fire Fist Striker is a pretty good one. Let's play that. If I attack with all three, he's got plenty of good blocks, so we can't do that. Uh, but the good news is Massive Raid it now does four damage, so we can use it to take out Opal Lake Guardians, for example. Yeah, he did it. Definitely need to hit this land here, though, to get Cobblebrook going, because he's the guy that can actually get through. Ascended Law Mage. Um, yeah, that's bad, too, I suppose. All right, there's that. Attack with everything. Make it so that this thing can't block. Then he can block here. Like, we can get in for some damage doing that. I can massive raid this, attack with everything, make it so that this can't block. If I do that, so this thing can't block, this is gone. He's got Ascended Law Mage and Murmur Guy, so this thing blocks here. Law Mage, it trades, and he can trade if he wants. Or I can play Cobble Brute. We're at 12. I kind of want to put the pressure back on him um while he's down but if i play cobble brute then i can massive raid for five and i can have shielded passage up too but i don't get to attack at all this turn i can also massive raid and have shielded passage up but it doesn't do anything this turn. actually it does if he wants to trade here it does so he's if he wants to block he can he can't really do that yeah i think i gotta do that so while he's tapped out let's massive raid this thing and then attack with the team and make it so that this thing can't block. And this also, I didn't think about that. This is also gonna get us an extra two life out of our Boros Mastiff, which is gonna change the race a bit too, because he does have five power in the air, remember. Okay. So he cannot trade that Law Mage off, and if he wants to block this, the uh, Warmind Infantry here, he takes 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 damage in this swing. Yeah, take 7, man. I mean, he wants to get rid of Fire Fist Striker, but he knows I have Shielded Passage, so not much he can do about it there. He can make me burn it, but he loses his Ascended Law Mage to do it. I'd, I would be super stoked if he did that. All right, he didn't. So we, he does seven, we, or we do seven to him, we gain two. We go to 14. He goes down to 13, and we ship the turn back. All right, so hopefully he keeps missing his land drops. If he does, he's going to have to stop attacking for starters. And even if he does stop attacking, um, we still have our trick. We still have Shielded Passage here. All right, he's going to attack with that guy, and he's going to attempt to trade off the Vassal Soul here. Uh, that's fine by me. If he has another play, though, then it can get a little ugly for us. So hopefully he doesn't tap any mana here. Or hit his land drop. Shh. 
shoot, he has Sarichi Tiger. That's a big one here. Uh. All right, so I attack with everybody. I make it so that this guy can't block. So he has a 2-3, so he can throw the Boros Mastiff, gets eaten by Zerichi Tiger. The Fire Fist Striker trades with Vassal Soul, but of course it doesn't trade because I shielded Passage. So basically I can do that, except for I lose Boros Mastiff to his, to his Zerichi Tiger. So I don't think we can make that play this turn, unfortunately. So I'm going to play a Cobble Brute here. And I'm just going to pass the turn back. Really crappy, though, because Zerichi Tiger uh, gives him something to do with his mana. Yeah, and now he's also hit his fifth mana. So this is starting to slip away from us a bit here, but we've put up a good fight. And uh, I don't think he can kill us or anything, so might be able to get him here. Again, Cobble Root with Shielded Passage is pretty nice. All right, another Murmuring Phantasm, but he's got these flyers. All right, so this is getting kind of bad for us at this point. We do have a lot of sweet cards that we can draw, though. If we draw Boros Charm and run our guys into his for trades, then we can give our guys indestructible. We're going to gain another couple of life off this Mastiff at some point as well. But he can keep gaining life with Zerichi Tiger. I'd love to kill that thing. We don't have enough mana for Punish. Traitorous Instinct could be interesting. We could steal his tiger. All right, he decided just to attack with the one Ascended Law Mage here. And we drew a Frontline Medic. Well, that's kind of interesting, too. Um, I feel like we have to attack here, though. Get this, Get this life gain to put us back up to 10 either way. Because right now, he's got 3 mana, so he's going to go to 15. He's got two two threes here, though, which is really annoying. Now, we don't have to attack with everything. We can attack with this, 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 and this. Then we don't gain the life, though. If we wait a turn, he gains 2 life, then he hits us for 5. 6-7 with the Torturer, but he can't get in with anything else, at least that we can see. And then I get a huge hit with Frontline Medic, and my Boros Mastiff gets Indestructibility that way too. But I think that it's too late at that point. I think he can just kill us. So I think I need to attack this turn and make him get rid of something here, like this guy. Okay, so let's... If I attack with everybody, what happens? I make it so this... Uh, this can't block. And then he goes for some trades, basically. Which I think is fine. And then I play Frontline Medic. Alright, well, let's put as much pressure as we can on him here. We're in a desperate situation, for sure. Okay, so that's going to happen, that's going to happen, and then I don't want this thing to be able to block. And uh, let's see what he does. If he gives us a favorable trade with uh, for our shielded passage, we may have to use it, though I'd much rather just play frontline medic here. I'm hoping we trade off a bunch of guys. I know the Zerichi Tiger's going to eat something. So he's going to prevent this with the Murmurs. This is the big one. It should trade with Vassal Soul, which I'm fine with, because that's a big clock there. And he'll probably eat this with this, and then we'll, we'll get in for two and uh, gain two life. I can also save Fire Fist Striker if I want with my Shielded Passage. So this is probably going to trade here. Yeah, having all white cards in one in one planes is really awkward too, but this is not a good position for us to be in. Not even close. All right, so he did block there too. So right now we lose this thing and we trade this thing. And then this dies 
he can untap, he can do two, five, six, seven, so same situation, but we're at 10. I might just need to shield it passage to keep our cobble brood alive, is this the only thing that can get through all this other stuff now? I hate to, to not have frontline medic, but I mean, I don't think it's gonna do that much, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Obviously, I hate losing Firefist Striker as well, but I hate losing the game slightly worse. Okay, yep, you did that. And we get go back up to 10. And then he says go, so he hits us for 5. If he wants to put his whole turn into it, he can get us down to 3. But this is the only guy that trades for any of his stuff, and I'd trade for any of these right now. They're all really bad for us. The higher torture is bad, the Zerichi Tiger is bad, and the Ascended Law Mages is primary win condition at this point, too. But when you mold a four, it makes the mana con uh, the resource constraints really tight. I mean, these guys on the battlefield, th the game is, like, pretty good for us. These guys stuck in our hand, uh, not so much. I mean, we're, we're way far behind here. He's going to hit us for five. Yeah, you did it. Play something huge. Oh, he's just going to leave to decree our, our two guys here. So, yeah, we're just going to die. Although, he needs to hit a land. Yeah. Ugh, explosive impact, sure. Um, so, I can attack with these two creatures. It doesn't do anything at all. So, I'm just going to play Frontline Medic and say go. Um, he doesn't have enough mana to activate this thing. Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah, so we're just dead. All right. Well, good game. We tried. We certainly tried hard. We'll make him do it, of course, but he sees it. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that, like, I, I think this is just one of those cases where we, we just kind of ran bad. I mean, I really feel like our deck was the best one out of the draft, or at least out of the decks that we saw. Um, I like our chances against his deck as well. I think we beat it uh, pretty handily most of the time. I mean, we got stuck on two lands, and we smashed him. Uh, it, it took a mold of four, and we were still in that game. I mean... You know, we, we weren't really ever in a great position, but we were still in that game. And if a few things uh, fall our way from that situation, uh, we can win it. Okay. If you guys want to send me an email, limited resources podcast at gmail.com. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Marshall underscore LR, same thing as uh, on Magic Online. And if you want to join the clan here on Magic Online, only two requirements. You're not a jerk. You love magic. Send me a message. I will get you an invite and you will become one of the 2,600 plus members of the clan here on Magic Online. Um, last but not least, for any of this stuff, if you want to find any of this stuff that I do, lrcast.com. Thanks for, for watching, guys. We'll see you next week.